so let's figure out what's going on on this episode, General Grievances. I don't think we're going to figure it out. No, we're really not. <laughs> but, uh, pretty. Yeah. That is some sort of sun, I'm guessing? Or, like, like the glow that you see constantly? Isn't that what that's supposed to be? I think that's the... Is that also the, um... Are they... They're taking this water out, right? Okay. It looks like they're in space, and they're taking water that's coming out of this thing, mm -hmm. and they're putting it in those orbs, and then they're taking it and placing it somewhere else. Like, they're transferring it from somewhere. Okay. Maybe. Right? It seems like a good explanation as any. What's on the other wall? Oh, the and then it makes... Like, when you... Coral tower. Like, when you put the water, it makes the, like, the stuff grow. Right. I guess. He started this little uh, aqueduct down here for the super water. I, I like to say dark water, but it's bright water. Pirates of light water. Still waiting for that remake. Okay, more story. See, at this point, I, if I was this dude, I would be freaking the fuck out. That dude looks exactly like me. Yes. He's even wearing the same wetsuit. Uh, I think that is you. <laughs> oh. And there's the triangle. Yeah. And there's the things. They don't. They don't look like they're praying. They, they, or do they look like they're praying? No, they're clapping. Or like. Or they like reverence in some way. I think they're giving. It looks like that. So these guys. It looked like they had the. They took the orb thing and gave it to you. Okay. That's what it looks like, right? Okay. What's on the and top then, there? Okay. And then you. Well, then you're taking the orb to like bring everything back. Okay. Almost like something happened and like the planet had to be dormant and then brought back or they they transferred it from another planet maybe that was dying. Maybe their planet was dying so they brought it to a different world. Okay. I, I don't know. It's a... I don't know if there's a... if there's like a strict answer or if it's just open for interpretation. I mean, you're obviously supposed to try and interpret it but I don't know how close I am. I think I've seen enough ancient aliens to try and piece it together. The answer is yes. Did I ever talk about when Amanda and I went to go see a lecture from Giorgio A. Uh, no. He told me that you went, but you never told me about it. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah? It was really fun. He was really nice. Cool. It was super cool. That's If uh, anybody man... doesn't know, that's the guy from the aliens meme with the fingers and the ridiculous hair. It, it, the, the lecture was like... He was really well put together, and it was the guy was super cool. He stayed. He w he was pretty drunk by, <laughs> by the end of it. I mean, he wasn't drunk during the during the speech, yeah. and, uh, but if he was, he was doing a good job. But at the end, he was really red, and uh, he was pretty messed up. But he was just hanging out with the fans, having a good time. That's cool. Yeah, it was totally cool. I would I would I would go see him again. Absolutely. Monica's grandpa occasionally is watching Ancient Aliens, which I is really like. I really liked that show, but it, it got to be, by the, the fourth or fifth season, it was just the same thing over and over again. Yeah. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Like, uh, occasionally, I'll be, I'll be like walking by, because he has his um, you know old CRTV on the loudest possible volume at all times, and it's just it'll be, he'll be watching Ancient Aliens, I'm like, well, one, I'm surprised that he's watching this, and two, I'm surprised that he didn't switch from, that he did switch from his other channel which he has on at all other times, which is just like showing old war movies. Which I don't know what channel it is, but just twenty four seven, just like. Is it the John Wayne channel? Man, there's when we moved in, there was so many pictures of John Wayne in this house. Like, there's a John Wayne clock. There's <laughs> there's framed John Wayne pictures in this house. Framed John Wayne. There's picture? framed pictures of John Wayne. Are you serious? Yes. That is. I was just joking around. No, we have framed pictures of John Wayne in this house. Yeah. Damn. Does that beat Grandma's Jesus magnets? I don't know. Grand Grandma had like a hundred or so pictures of Jesus in the house. No, it was. I counted. <laughs> there was one time we had our grandmother had seventeen Jesus magnets on the refrigerator. <laughs> What about that super creepy picture when you walked in the porch that nobody ever came in the front door? The one with that, with that, like, the holy water? 
yeah. that nobody ever used. Yeah. But I love when they, they did the thing. That's like, the guest holy water. That's not for our everyday use. Yeah. Th this is and that weird picture of uh, Tom Selleck in the China cabinet. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did we have like four China cabinets? I don't know. <laughs> It's really, it, it, it's kind of weird because as you get, as I get older, you know, you realize that, like, you know, there's a point in your life where you're supposed to, like, grow up and stop playing with toys. And, like, especially Grandma and Grandpa were very, they didn't understand anything that we liked, mm -hmm. especially Grandpa. Yeah. But, you know, Grandma had that cabinet, that's a very big whale. Yeah. Uh, Grandma had that cabinet filled with, like, those little dumb figures. Yeah. And the ba that baby whale is cute. Yeah. But, um,. You know, those were just what she collected, like how we collect action figures or Pokemon or Amiibo or whatever, you know? So, instead, I don't understand why she didn't understand that this is just what we like, how this is what you like. And th that explanation would have made a lot more sense. And she just never transferred it over to be like, oh, this is what kids like now. Yeah. It was just everything we liked was just stupid. I feel like that's a lot of what happens it's going to be every generation like we're going to feel like that about the next generation but hopefully we were we would come back and watch this and we're like yeah yeah no i get i should i should think about it that way well th that's another thing that happens with music too it's like this music this generation's music is garbage it's like you know well our parents thought our music was i don't mean oh god oh okay, my dude. god it's awesome well, the, the, but like when you when I do listen to some new music, I do think it's garbage. But you know I'm also old, so maybe maybe. But just it, it's very important that you just. I think that people should just do what makes them happy, and if people say that it's like juvenile or as long as it's not really affecting anybody else, like who fucking cares? Because I wish I still had all my old Transformers from when I was a kid. Yeah. And my old my old Masters of the Universe and Thundercats figures would have been worth a shitload of money. And I don't have them anymore because I left them in my dad's house. Yeah. And then he died, and I don't know where all my stuff is. Or where he is. I have no idea where my father is buried. I don't well, know. Well, that got buried. really dark. I'm sorry. It's okay. Talk about. <laughs> um, is that a mine? Yes. So you can die? No. Oh. It, it just kind of incapacitates you. For oh, okay. Yeah, they got a little dark. I'm sorry. I, didn't mean okay. to break it over. Uh, I, I do that pretty occasionally. Uh, just get really dark with it. Like, I occasionally go check for my father's obituary just to see if he died because nobody's going to call me. Sorry, you, we should be probably lighting this up. This is really pretty. It is very pretty. Stop talking about our uh, father. Paternal death and uh, talking about how pretty it's Kate. Let's keep our daddy issues to ourselves. Ooh, bones of some sort of creature. Sorry, this is this whole area is still making me uncomfortable. That's okay. I well, like these, uh, I, I know you don't like the ocean, but these bones at the bottom will surely cheer you up. Actually, I'm okay with them as long as it's not, you know, like the Titanic. Just the pictures of the Titanic creep me the fuck out. Yeah, they're pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> and it didn't really help that every year I was in uh, junior high, uh, my same English teacher made us do a project on the Titanic. Really? Yeah. And I remember my when I was in sixth grade, mom bought me uh, a Titanic toy. It was like, you know, supposed to be a model that actually sank. And all I had to do was like put the two halves together and put the smokestacks on. And then, yeah, that was it. And I brought that in and I got an A. And the next year, I got Titanic Projects again. I brought it in again, got an A. And the next year, A again. And you should have did what? You should have did one of the Hindenburg. <laughs> <laughs> if she would have let us do any other, you know, disaster, I, I probably would have. But. And then I remember I sold it at a garage sale to this weird old dude on a bike. Yep. Well then. <laughs> you can see that this is pretty much the same puzzle as the other one. Yeah. You just gotta... This one has electricity, though, I'm guessing. Yeah, so, but I mean, again, like, why would there be electricity underwater? Yeah. Come on! Oh, ah, shit. see, that's what happens. Oh, wow. But... 
That's really cool looking though. It kind of just makes you unable to swim for a while. It doesn't, you don't have any health or anything. I'm like Dark Souls, how many, what would be the death count? <laughs> the, every, everything would have eat, tried to eat you. Like, the sunfish <laughs> tried to eat you. The sunfish would have tried to eat you. The, de the, the whale um, definitely would have eaten you. Oh yeah, the um... Can you say thank you, I'm holding the door open for you. I said before, that's some shit Douglas would do. Yeah. Like you do all that work to open the door and then he goes in first. <laughs> But all like the the game's pacing for I mean for a short game, mm -hmm. it's really good because you can see how it's getting darker, and like how the colors change will affect the, like the mood and yeah, you're starting to you see the chains were like kind of ancient but now there's like a little more technology, and you got these mines and it's it's definitely changing it up not not making everything just the same. Yeah. It's God good. damn it. It's a good game design. Oh yeah. Excellent mouthfeel. Exquisite mouthfeel. Oh, I feel less good now. Aww. Can you help? Yeah, I'm gonna help him out. You're strong as fuck. Well, you're still on, you're underwater, but yeah. Things weigh more underwater. Is he your friend now? Aww. Well, I don't think any of the... I think all of the creatures were, like, they're not against you. Mm -hmm. Although you did eat my drone. <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm still a little mad about that. It's a little PO'd. A little put out. It's probably the most boring hallway in the game. More I'm sorry, what were, you, what were you saying? No, more whales. The hallway was still boring. That doesn't. The hallway was boring because the whales are foreboding. Here, I'll swim to the bottom with this giant squid. How do you feel? Uh, I feel like it's time for next time on General Grievances. Next time, giant squids. <laughs>